All right, guys, we'll go back to part two or part one. I don't know what part this is of making a Nine Nine Nights in a Forest type game. And in this video, guys, I'm going to show you guys how to make a um, chopping system. Right? We're just going to start off, right? So we're going to get an axe. This axe here, and there's a tree. And we're going to. I'm going to show you guys how you can go ahead and make, you know make this for yourself and um, you know use the axe to obviously chop it down, and you can get carry the log around and stuff and put it in the fireplace. So make sure you guys watch until the end and. Um, if you guys want to make this for yourself and if you guys don't have time, if you guys don't know how to figure this out or don't know how to get this to work or anything like that, make sure you go to payup.com slash ziggydarkalien and it should be here somewhere um, in the asset store where you can get the log breaking system and the 99 nights stuff. So yeah, make sure you guys check it out. Alright guys, so as you guys can see, um, we have made the system work. I'll explain to you guys how it worked in a bit. So this is how the chopping tree system works, guys. Um, so I couldn't record it, me doing it, but I'll explain to you guys right now. So as you guys can see, we have an X. All right and um we hit it three times boom it breaks and it falls into three logs which we haven't made the dragon system yet for and yeah it's, it's fine for now but i'll show you guys how this works so firstly i'll, I'll show you guys the axe okay guys so we have the axe tool um i just like got this from my other game called the dark room you guys should play in the description so i'm gonna stop self-plugging now all right so in this script basically um what it does is it's it swings Okay, it makes the it makes the um X swing. All right, I mean you guys can copy this if you want. I'll and pause it, but this is pretty long. Just you can literally just um search it up on the models and just get like a random. Give it a sword. Literally a sword could help. And all you needed to do right in the activated area. So like I say here, when it's activated. All right, so you're gonna add an a bull value. So you're gonna right click, click it into object. It's a bull value. Okay, all right, I already have ones, and then we just rename it to swing. It has to be swing, okay, guys. And make sure it's off. Then inside of the activate thing, you want to go ahead and see this line here. Tool will find fish out swing dot value equals to true. All right, so when it actually when you're actually swinging the axe, it should detect that it's true. And then when it, you're done swinging the axe, it should be false. Okay, it should be false because a mistake that most people make is that um, with the axe. They can just what do you call it? Um, if without without this like swinging bouva thing, it'll just make it so that you can really wave your axe around. I'll show you guys what I mean. Like like without that bouva thing, see like let's just pretend it breaks right now. But like no, with the bouva, as you can see, it will detect it once. See boom, and it will detect that I hit it. Um, I probably won't print anything, but yeah. And then I hit it again and and again, and it breaks. There you go. Perfect. So that's how that works. Now for the trees. Ha for the trees handler i made a script where um it takes all the trees inside of the workspace so i have made a folder called trees and i made a random tree and it has to look like this by the way so piece one piece two piece three those these are the pieces that are going to fall off so the logs that are going to fall off after you break it as you guys can see and then this is how the tree looks itself for the trunk so basically um yeah be copy this if you want this is what happens this is how it detects the um actually hitting it so hits required three as you can see and then can't hit zero obviously and once you hit it the hits will go up and then once it's three then it'll fall okay it'll fall <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was good hey what's up guys <laughs> guys love <it. laughs> uh, down but you don't you, you know what <laughs> Alright guys, so as you guys can see, so me and a developer friend, so me and Galactic have been working on um, the system, so to the dragon system, so now it should be finished. As you guys can see, so if you go ahead and break this, okay, it's not working anymore, well. Wow. Alright, so if you bash up the tree real quick, as you guys can see this tree right here, um, uh, it should be, we should be able to drag the logs now, we well, obviously haven't made the system. As you can see, look, boom, it breaks into three logs and you can now drag it, as you guys can see. Well, obviously we haven't made it so that it burns into the fireplace and um, like it makes the fire go up. Well, we haven't done that yet. But yeah, for now, there you go. This is the system. So yeah, this is the part. This is the first part of making a Nine Nights in the Forest game. I'll show you guys the scripts in a bit. But um, as you guys can see, boom, there you go. So here's a drag handler. This guy spot him and wrong, him and Rupert wrong. That's fine. Boom. This is the script. If you want to pause it and use it. Yeah, I don't know, you guys. You guys might as well just buy this flipping thing because good luck writing all this down but um yeah there you go where you put them is here it's drag handler and then drag control and yeah whatever 
uh, this is a remote function you insert inside of replicate storage and you name it request all right guys so future me recording this over here and um i know in this episode i didn't go in depth into showing you guys how i made the you know cutting down the, the tree system and stuff like that but um yeah, if you guys are confused or anything and you guys need any help, make sure you guys let me know in the comments below. And I may go over this again. I might make a free model or something in the next episode. I might go over this and explain it to you guys further. But um, yeah, next episode, I'm going to show you guys how to make f the food cook and hunger system like that, as you guys can see. Okay, I just fell. Well, that, that should be more, way more in-depth, hopefully. So yeah, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.